what up guys and welcome back to this short video so in this video I'm going to show you how worn my brake pads are and take you on a journey to replace my brake pads and let me just move down to the bike and show you how worn my brake pads are the ones on the front are still pretty good but the ones on the rear are really really worn and I'll just show you that in a minute so the last time I changed brake pads on my 2019 CB500X was in December 2020 uh, nine months on we're in September and I have to change again and this is the second time I'm changing brake pads on my motorcycle so when I first got a motorcycle I changed the brake pads uh, a year later so I got a bike in December 2019 and I changed the brake pads in December 2020 and so in 2020 I was able to go 12 months without changing the brake pads and as you all know it was because of COVID uh, there was less riding done less commuting to work in 2020 but in 2021 things have been not really good but much better than 20, 2020 so in 2021 I've ridden the bike more and so it only lasted me nine months three months short of the 2020 duration but it's all good I mean for a bike with uh, 500 471 cc's and constantly riding and using the rear brakes I think nine months is pretty good for a set of brake pads so the brake parts on the front are not that easy to see uh, you have to look from the bottom so I'll see if I can do that so looking at it from the bottom it doesn't look like it's worn it's still a lot of um, pad left on there the camera might not zoom in properly but if you look carefully you will see that there's still quite a bit of meat left on the pads for the front which is normal because for motorcycles um, the front brakes are rarely used it's mostly the rear brakes so those are changed often all right guys so I'll just show you how worn my rear brake pads are I uh, don't know if you can see clearly but if you look closely around here you will see that there's just a very thin to the left of my finger there's just a very thin layer of uh, pad left and that's for the right side of the pad I don't know if you can, you can move on to the left side um, it doesn't I think my camera is too close it doesn't zoom properly yeah maybe you can see a little bit of there so on the left hand side there's still a little bit of meat left if you look around there but on the right side it's, it's very very uh, worn and I'll just move you to the brake oil so as you can see it's very low the bike is a little tilted to the left but still if I adjust it a little bit you can see that it's right on the low mark and it tells me that I should be changing my brake pad so I'm gonna ride off to my usual guy where I usually change my brake pads he has he usually has EBC brakes I've used EBC uh, the EBC brand brake pads for a long time for all my bikes and they've worked really great so I'm just gonna go off now and uh, change my brake pads alright guys I just arrived here and I'm just seeing a puncture right now I must have picked up a nail I just got to the shop good thing I got here before uh, I hope it's not a big hole but as you can hear there's a lot of coming out so these are the EBC brakes I often use for for my bikes and they're proven to stand the test of time so I always use them So this is where I usually come to get my bike fixed. They are pretty professional at what they do. And you can replace your tires. You can do all kinds of maintenance here. It's a major, major, one of the big places in Shanghai where you can uh, service your big CC motorcycles. It's a pretty nice setup here. A range of tires up there. Uh, we'll 
of uh, so guys as you can see there's still a bit of thread left on on my pads but I will be changing them anyway soon so I might as well just change them now so he's going to install the new ones now and I'll be good to go for another nine months to a year or so I believe that's good timing what do you think guys let me know in the comment section if you think it's too frequent how often do you change your brake pads on your CB500X leave a comment all right now it's time to work on the tire so he's just gonna inflate it first and then plug it it's not as complicated as that of a car uh, with a motorcycle, most of the time, just plugging it with tire plug is enough to to keep it going for a long time. But as you can see, my tires are gradually wearing out, and I'm thinking at about two to three thousand kilometers, I will need to change these tires anyway. So we'll see what we get there. recommended temp uh, pressure which is 2.8 bars or 280 kilopascals now as you can see he's left some excess off outside so that it can feel the surface of the hole so these are the kind of bikes that they are servicing here see Triumph right there and that's a Honda the black one is a Honda and that is a Ducati, a BMW right there, a KTM. So it's mostly bigger CCs here. And this very interesting Honda Monkey. Yeah, very interesting tiny bike. All right, guys, so new brake pads installed. I'm guessing I'll have at least another nine months to a year to replace it with my style of riding and the tire is plugged as well again i was so lucky the puncture might have happened right before i got here or as soon as i got here i must have picked up a nail but it's all plugged now and i might have you a couple of thousands of kilometers before i need to change the tires so when the time comes we'll see what we want to put on this this bike Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. I just wanted to show you the replacement of my brake pads and how often I've replaced them and the type of brake pads that I use. It might help someone out there. So thank you so much for coming along guys. Till I see you in the next video, ride legal, ride safe. Peace.